Hello, West Seattle High School people. This is a quick video about how to use the Microsoft Snip and Sketch tool. All right, so if you're in a Microsoft machine, like your school computers or a teacher computer, you often want to have just some picture that is on your screen uh, snipped out so that you can actually uh, provide it to uh, a teacher, a picture of what you're looking at, or if you want to have something that you want to integrate into a uh, slideshow or something like that for your class. So I'll show you how to do that. All right, first thing you do is go to your start menu. Start menus can be all over the place. Uh, yours might be on the bottom of the screen or it might be uh, on the top or you know wherever it is you've, you've set it. But it's basically like this little windowy thing here and it says start when you hover over it. It'll bring up all of your programs that you have open. And the one that you want here is, uh, as you saw, I was scrolling down on the list on the left here of all of your uh, programs. Your colors will probably be different because the colors match the uh, background for your computer. But you want this Snip and Sketch tool. All right, And when you click the Snip and Sketch tool, it brings it open. And uh, it basically says this. Uh, it's like a really simple looking tool. And the button you want to click is the New button here. Let me move that over a tiny bit more, which when you click that will bring up a new snip. All right. And then you can basically capture anything on the screen that you want to capture. In, that, in this case, I'm going to capture this. All right. And now you can see there's the snip of what I took because I'm going to include this bit about uh, the capture of Atlantic cod for the research paper I'm writing on cod fisheries. All right, the nice thing about the snipping, uh, snip and sketch tool, which is kind of an improvement on the old snipping tool, is that you have a bunch of little tools that you can use. Like you can highlight uh, various things to show like, this is what I really care about. Um, and you can actually choose multiple colors of highlighters, unlike uh, the old snipping tool. So you can kind of write around on stuff. You can erase things uh, that you don't like. Like if you feel like, oh, that was a mistake, you can use the erasing tool. You can also crop stuff. You got various kind of little elements here. But basically with this, you can copy anything that's sitting on your screen at any given time. And then once you've done uh, your snip and sketch, then you click this little save button, which is an old school uh, computer floppy disk thing. But it's this thing up here, save. Uh, and you click save as. And it will bring up you know, your standard, like where your stuff is. Uh, if you're a student, you're probably going to want to put it in your OneDrive account. Um, and I would give it a better name than this. So like, uh, it's going to save. And you just want to say cod fisheries. Oops. Uh, and then when you save that, then you'll be able to easily find your cod fisheries picture, which you could then insert. You can also simply copy it up here. So if you just copy it, it'll be copied to your, uh, you know, copy uh, board or whatever to the uh, copy thing. So then you could just copy it into some paper that you were working on if you had a, a Google Doc open or a Word Doc open. Uh, so that's how you use the Snip and Sketch tool. Uh, very straightforward, very handy for grabbing images off of websites or a still from a YouTube video or something like that. If you need something copied that's displayed on your screen, you can use the Snip and Sketch tool. Hope that was helpful. Thanks. Bye.